In this video, I'm going to talk about the three types of backlinks. The good, the bad, and the worst. Now, backlinks are no doubt important. Google has never revealed a complete list of search engine ranking factors in a particular order. However, from different announcements and studies, we know that backlinks are among the top three search engine ranking factors. All webmasters, content marketers, and SEO experts understand this. However, most of them are unsure what constitutes a good, powerful backlink that propels their website in the search engine results pages. Without understanding the differences between a good backlink and one that can get your site penalized is critical. When it comes to a link building strategy, you need to be 100% sure of the types of backlinks you should pursue and the ones you need to avoid. So in this light, let's divide backlinks into three categories. Tier 1, the absolute best ones you can generate for your website. Tier 2, the bad ones you should avoid as much as possible. And Tier 3, the absolute worst of the worst. These will totally get your website penalized by Google and other search engines. So, let's begin with Tier 1 backlinks. There are specific qualities that make a backlink a good one. To keep it simple, just remember this rule. Any backlink that comes naturally to your site from a relevant and authoritative source is a good one. This is also known as organic link building, and it propels you higher in the search engine results pages and makes your website more authoritative and credible. Because of this, organic link building is also the toughest and most time-consuming way of generating backlinks. And that's why so many SEOs turn towards spammy and quote-unquote easier ways to do that. But let's highlight a few different types of Tier 1 backlinks. Editorial backlinks are the most common type of Tier 1. A journalist, a publisher, or a blogger creates a backlink to your website from a credible source, like a publication or a well-established blog. This all happens organically and naturally. For instance, you wouldn't even know about the journalist creating a link to your website until it's done. They only do it because they're so amazed by your website and the content you have on it. This is the purest form of backlink that Google and all the other search engines absolutely love. With relationship-based backlinks, a personal relationship leads to the backlink creation process. This relationship could be built through an introduction with a journalist, a blogger, or a content contributor. They see that your website provides genuine value, and they create a backlink to your website. In order for this to be effective, it still has to have the same amount of value and genuineness to it. Otherwise, it won't be effective. Moving on, although not as powerful as it once was, guest blogging is still a very genuine and powerful way to generate high-quality Tier 1 backlinks. Now recently, Google has cracked down hard on guest posting websites that were using this technique just for creating backlinks, instead of providing genuine value to their readers. So remember that the primary purpose of guest blogging isn't to create backlinks. It's to provide genuine value to the readers of that blog. So if you want to go this route, the best strategy would be to guest blog only as a way to expand your brand and to reach a larger audience, instead of with building backlinks in mind. Consider backlinks as being a byproduct of guest blogging, not the primary goal. Now you'll probably cringe at these next two words, niche directories. I know what you're thinking, aren't these the bane of the SEO world? And you're not wrong, General directories are dead and must be avoided at all costs. However, niche directories are a bit different and they can be a great source of generating powerful backlinks to your website. But we're still talking about respectable established ones. Yelp, the Better Business Bureau, the Yellow Pages, Best of the Web. These are all high quality niche directories and they can be good for you. Just make sure to write different descriptions in each, ones that their visitors will find useful. If you copy-paste or if you automate directory submissions, then they'll end up looking exactly like what they are, spammy backlinks. Google hates these and will penalize you for them. Now, let's move on to Tier 2 backlinks, the type you should generally avoid. They don't really add any value to your rankings in the first place, and we expect that Google may eventually penalize you for them in the near future. Okay, maybe it's worth a think if you happen to have a chance of creating tons of these with minimal effort. But in our experience, time spent on Tier 2 backlinks just isn't worth it. In any case, let's cover some examples of these. Successful guest posting takes a lot of time and effort. However, there are a lot of folks out there who write a post, get it published on a website, 
then spin the content, creating dozens of similar modified versions and getting them published on different websites to acquire backlinks. As you can imagine, credible websites don't accept such rehashed content. So these folks get in touch with low quality and often irrelevant websites that have nothing but dozens of ads on their web pages or similar spun content. This doesn't do your brand any favors, and no one cares to read second-rate content anyway. Furthermore, it creates a content pattern that Google can track and easily identify, so this strategy is best avoided. Links coming from headers, footers, and sidebars aren't valuable for Google either. This is why site-wide links should be avoided. And now let's get to the juicy stuff. Tier 3, the nastiest of the nasty. Building these types of backlinks will get your website penalized in the search engine results pages for sure. Now let's look at some of the common ones, like paid links. Even if it's on a very small scale, buying links is still a horrible idea that you must avoid at all costs. Because let's face it, even if a website owner is just selling a couple of backlinks to you, it's fair to assume that they would be selling a lot more backlinks to a lot more people if they could. This gets you involved in a network that you don't want to get into, guilt by association. Google's algorithms can easily identify these paid links. If you are dealing with the same network, they will count you as a culprit too, even if you just bought a couple of backlinks. You can also create thousands of backlinks with comment spam, but this too is a road to nowhere. Most backlinks coming from the comments sections are no follow, which means that they don't add any organic value in the first place, but they can still get you penalized. Additionally, spamming the comment sections of other websites can easily piss off their owners, who are very happy to report you to Google. So no reward and all risk, simply not worth it. And as mentioned earlier, General directories are mostly spammy and should be avoided. Again, think about it. As long as someone is willing to pay their fee, they'll allow anyone to post. That's not much different than having paid links. And again, these are easily identified by Google. Now, backlinks coming from completely irrelevant websites used to be in the Tier 2 category, but after the Google Penguin update, we had to demote these to Tier 3. Good backlinks come from good websites and add genuine value to their readers. On the other hand, a link coming from a drone-related website to a divorce lawyer's website doesn't make a lot of sense. No value, and just plain weird. So stay away from backlinks that come from non-relevant websites, no matter how easy it is to acquire them. Google specifically targets websites with too many backlinks from non-relevant websites. So to conclude, backlinks are absolutely important. They make your website more credible and authoritative in the eyes of the search engines and propel your web pages higher in the SERPs. However, it is vital to pay attention to the types of backlinks you are generating. Not every one will help you, and bad ones will get you penalized. Ideally, you should go only after Tier 1 backlinks and avoid Tiers 2 and 3. For more tips and tricks on how to optimize your site for better user performance, feel free to check out our Articles, Base, and Help section, where we cover just about every SEO subject under the sun. Don't forget about our comprehensive set of optimization tools you can use to test your site. You can follow us on Facebook for daily discussions. And don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated with all the latest methods to improve your site and rise higher in the search results.